In the following video, you will find out how to properly maintain and store your Macy ABI module. Battery Life Please ensure that the battery is charged regularly. One battery charge is enough for approximately 200 consecutive recordings. To charge the battery, place the Macy tubeless cuff units on the charging station. During the charging process, the lights on the units will be flashing yellow. Only when completely charged will it start flashing green. While in storage, the battery needs to be recharged every three months to avoid accidentally over-discharging. The device should also be inspected and calibrated by a qualified service engineer at least every 12 months. Cleaning Instructions It's recommended to clean the Macy tubeless cuff units regularly with a soft, damp cloth. Before cleaning, detach each cuff from the unit. Clean the cuff's surface by wiping it with a mild disinfectant. We recommend using a quick dry disinfectant, preferably in wipe form. Do not use aggressive cleaning agents or excessive force when cleaning the device. Do not wash the cuffs or immerse them in water. Make sure to dry the equipment before next use. In case of wounds, the use of protective sleeves is recommended. For disinfection instructions, please consult the instructions for use and follow your institution's protocols. Troubleshooting Inflation or deflation error appear during the measurement. If an inflation or deflation error appears during the measurement and you hear a hissing noise coming from a cuff, please make sure the cuff is correctly attached to the unit. The light indicator doesn't respond when the multifunction button on top of the Macy ABI unit is pressed. Place the Macy ECG unit on the charging station and let it charge for at least half an hour before retrying. If the light doesn't start blinking either on the charging station or after charging for half an hour, please contact your local Macy representative for further assistance. The ABI application will not start even though the Macy ABI unit is paired and next to the Macy M tablet. Make sure that there aren't any devices that produce electromagnetic interference nearby. These devices can interfere with the basic functions of the Macy ECG unit. If the problem persists, please contact your local Macy representative for further assistance. <laughs>